Hello children. Welcome to my classroom. I am back today with another interesting grammar video which will hold your attention and I will be giving you exciting paragraphs. Today I will be talking about the different types of pronouns and in particular a detailed version about the possessive pronouns. I hope you will remember our last chapter about pronouns. You might wonder what is a possessive pronoun. Just recollect your day-to-day -day conversation with everyone. For example, you own many things like for example toys, books, dresses and cra craft collections. We can go on saying about the possessions. To possess means to have. I am making it very simple for you to learn children. When I say possess, it means to have. You are the owner of the things that belong to you. So when we change a pronoun into a possessive pronoun, few changes have to be made for which you have to follow the table and the rules given. We now know pronouns take the place of nouns and possessive pronouns take the place of names of someone or something and show the possession or ownership. Possessive pronouns are usually found at the end of the sentence. Remember the rule that we do not put an apostrophe and the singular possessive pronouns are mine, yours, his, hers and the plural possessive pronouns are ours, yours, theirs. The pronoun yours can be used in singular and plural forms. Now we are going to the types of pronouns and since this is for the primary children. I have given only limited types of pronouns and they are personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, reflexive pronoun, emphatic pronoun, indefinite pronoun, relative pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, interrogative pronoun, distributive pronoun, subject and object pronouns. Here are some example words for possessive pronouns. They are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours and theirs. Sentence examples. The pen is mine. The teddy bear is yours. The pet parrot is his. The doll is hers. This house is ours. The boat house is theirs. Now let us do an activity. Underline the possessive pronouns. The rabbit is mine. The book is yours. The chain is his. The bag is theirs. The toys are yours and mine. The caravan is theirs. She has new books. It is hers. Their dog gets along well with yours. Now we will read a small passage about the naughty Benny squirrel. Benny was a naughty squirrel who didn't like learning at all. But he loved to play tricks and set trap on his friends. As you see in the first video, you can see him as if he's going to swoon and fall down and his friend catching him. And that's how he used to set his trap on his friends. One morning, Mama Squirrel was cooking. She called him and said, Look here, Benny, I am going to the market to buy some eatables. 
she adjusted her apron and said this acorn is yours you can nibble on it if you are hungry it's very tasty when benny was about to eat his acorn nora telly and bunny came they wanted him to play with them wow acorns they squealed but bunny was not interested in sharing it with them he said it's not yours it's mine and so the friends were so disappointed that they went away and left him alone he suddenly felt very sad he saw his friends having a good time without him and thought it's good to share with friends and have fun than being alone and eating it himself sharing brings happiness this is the moral of the story so share your things and be happy now we'll proceed with the pronoun its we have two its one is with apostrophe and one is without apostrophe which is a possessive pronoun the spellings are same but they have different meanings we often see a confusion so to give you a clarity in between these two its i am giving a few examples now we will learn its with an apostrophe its is a contraction which means shorter version of it is or it has contraction is one word formed from two words and an apostrophe it replaces a letter and is in present tense for example it's a rainy day which means it is a rainy day presently it is raining and today it is raining and then it's raining which means now right now it is raining continuously then it's been a long time which means it has been a long time suppose you meet a friend after a long time you will say it's been a long time since we met then it's been snowing all day which means right from the morning it is snowing all the day now we will go to a fun filled passage and you will really enjoy it it is to show the difference between the two its the its with apostrophe and its without apostrophe at the end of the chapter you will be very clear and will know the difference between the apostrophe s which is used and the possessive pronoun okay now with the passage a duck walked up to a lemonade stand and asked the shopkeeper do you have any grapes he said no it's lemonade it's all homemade lemonade and it's cool and fresh it's yours to drink for 1 rupee a glass the duck bought the lemonade and on his way home met his friends the monkey and the bird the monkey seeing the lemonade told him i have bananas it's yummy and delicious but i am thirsty it's yours to keep can you give me the lemonade the duck thought to himself it's the grapes i wanted but it's the bananas the monkey has i'm very hungry so i'm going to accept this offer so the duck told the monkey it's my lemonade and it's your bananas but we can all share it and have some fun on this hot day so they all shared and had fun that day now i'll go to the explanation 
here we go on with the explanation. The shopkeeper says it's lemonade. He means to say he does not have grapes. He is selling lemonade. It's in the present tense. So the apostrophe it's is used. Now the second one. It's yours to drink for one rupee a glass. Here the shopkeeper wishes to say it's cheap. So it is the duck's choice. The duck will own it. So here it's is used without apostrophe as a possessive pronoun it's yours it's yummy and delicious the monkey says the bananas are good so it's has apostrophe then it's my lemonade it's your banana these two it's do not have any apostrophe because it shows possession of the duck's lemonade and the monkey's banana. I hope I have given you all a clear explanation. With this we come to the end of the chapter on possessive pronouns. I have made it easy and simple. Please subscribe if you find it useful. I wish to bring another type of pronoun in the next chapter. Until then take care and stay safe. Thank you for watching my video.